Okay, just want to remind everybody that all workshop council meetings will be audio and videotaped and will be shown on the Township of Oceans Community <coughs> Cable Channel, Channel 22 on Verizon Fios, and Channel 77 on Cablevision. Uh, roll call, please. Mayor Nefletani. Here. Deputy Mayor Donlin. Here. Council Member Jarrett. Here. Fisher. Here. Terry. Here. The notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act for this meeting have been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press and the coaster posted in town hall and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 8th, 2022. Uh, let's start off with Greg. How are you this evening? Good evening. How's Good evening. Doing? Good. Good. <laughs> okay, my first item on my list, uh, Joe Play Park. We got, uh, we received confirmation from Ricky. There's funding available to phase four. So we'll get that out for a spring bid. Uh, next one was the speed bumps. We also found out Ricky confirmed there was funding available to do that. So the speed bumps have been ordered. I don't know what the lead time is because they were ordered through public work, so I'll get that for next meeting. Um, next one, we're still waiting on the, the funding for the striping, which is part of the budget. Uh, Whale Pond, we're proceeding with the first crossing, which is a southerly stream crossing. We were the two strips sidewalk crossings. We called one the southern one, the least expensive. The northern one was the more expensive oh, one. Yes. So the northern one is part of the budget for, that you're reviewing now. Southern one, there is money available to do that, so we're in the process of filing the permits for the southern one, so that we should be able to do probably late spring, early summer, install that. Is that the one that uh, Raymond had emailed about? I think they wanted both of them. Right. But the, the one, the, there's actually a solution for the northern one. We talked to him go across the street. The southern one, there is no solution, so that's the one we're proceeding with. Right. So that one we will and have. And it's cheaper and going first? Is that what I just heard? Southern one is cheaper. Yeah, the southern, yeah, okay. Because there's available funding, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we're still waiting on the DEP permit on that? We're just, we haven't filed yet. We're, we're going to be filing that probably in a week or so. Okay, cool. Um, next one, uh, 1001 Wickham Petco, the golf simulator. We received the authorization to bid, so that will be going out to bid next week. Plans are done. So we're going to operate on time with that. Um, next one, South Edgemere. The Horizon moved the lines today. So contract right on time. Right on time. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, so <laughs> contractor starting on Monday with moving the trees, and he's going to start putting the bulkhead in next Thursday. He's going to take about a week and a half, so he should be done before the end of the month. Then we'll start the procedure in reverse to try to get out the utilities and move their stuff back to the poles to get the temporary poles removed, which is what the residents were mostly concerned with. So, but at least we got past the page where we can get the, the bulkhead in, and then I'm going to have to re design re re-excavate and reconstruct part of that road because that's sloughed off into the pond which is why we're doing this in the first place so that'll probably be part of our road program coming up in 2023. okay the next one uh pond dredgings um i actually had a meeting with our uh, lsrp <coughs> guy today and another guy that used to work for dep and it, it turns out that we do not have to um merge or buy clean fill to mix with this to lower the limits if we leave the stuff on site awesome. and the most contaminated one we have is actually the one coming off of colonial terrace right so that one is great because there's nine thousand cubic yards of material we don't have to buy great. so that puts all three ponds back in play because Wonderful. i don't have to spend the money and we don't obviously create double the volume either and it turns out all three ponds are the other two are clean enough to put there awesome. so all three will go on that so we're starting the permitting for that and uh, we've already talked that we met with the county. I think I mentioned it last time with, uh, with uh, Tom Arnone, and he's committed to the services of the Mosquito Control Commission mm -hmm. to help us with that. So we're pretty much ready to go. We'll get the permitting in in the next month or so. For we got to get lake lowering permits and some general permits to dredge, and we're going to need another uh, wetlands permit just for some perimeter wetlands areas. But we should have most of those by midsummer, late summer. So once we get the permits in hand, we'll make all the arrangements with the county. To make sure they're online with that so. and, and, and when you say on site that's, that's because, thank you, you. <laughs> yeah so when when you say on site does that mean like make making like a, a berm or something like no. that or you mean on site at the golf on, course on the same property on the same property yeah, that's just like leaving it on the same property but and anything where that's do you, township owned is considered on the same property oh so you can move it to the golf 
Yeah, we're going to put it between the fourth and sixth oh, okay. phase. Oh, okay. like okay. That's what I wasn't sure. I was okay. like, where exactly? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. 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 Remember last time? We're just going to leave it right there. Let's just pile right next to the pond. Let it go back in. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. no, we are going to dewater it there. Okay. Now this will go right where we had intended. Okay. But remember right. last time I talked about there's going to be so much volume because of the mixing that I couldn't put all that material right. between because the Now that you don't have to mix it, you can just half the material. Okay, excellent. So it's good shape. The only caveat we'll have to talk to Kelly about possibly using some of their trucking to truck from Fireman's Pond and from Snell's Pond okay. over to here. But they said that they were willing to do something like Yeah, the, like the only question is is just the money they charge us. Oh. It turns out last time I did this with the county, their trucking rate was more than I could buy it, I get it off yeah. the street at, like 25% higher. So nice. Big Brother helping us all the time is <laughs> such a good deal. Yeah, but right. I'll, I will compare prices yeah. before okay. we get involved. Yeah. But generally, they, they have the availability, so that helps where a lot of the contractors don't have availability mm -hmm. like the county does. Mm -hmm. But we'll get to the bottom of that probably by midsummer. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I got the two screwed up. I, I, I talked about 1515 Logan is on schedule. 27 bids. Oh, I know, I'm sorry. No, you were right. 1001. Right. Yeah, 1001. Mm -hmm. yeah, 1515 Logan is on this month's agenda for the planning. Board. We hope. Or did you get confirmation today? Because I talked to Amy, she wasn't 100% sure yet. Oh, really? I talked to her this morning. I'll talk to her. I don't know what the hang-up would be. She just couldn't absolutely commit. Oh, okay. But we should be good. That's what she well, said. I'll, yeah, well, I'll check with... This is a full agenda. Yeah, well, we could still bounce anybody in the agenda. Push back. That's right. Um, but yeah, that's, that is tentatively scheduled for the last good. Monday of this month, the 27th. So we get that going. Um, next one. Next one's a role. There's really no change. The Bimler traffic study. We're waiting for the county. Uh, the, I know the county had filed for their. They're going after a grant to improve uh, Asbury Avenue from the Circle to Ocean Avenue. Yeah. So I think they're probably going to. If they get that grant, they'll push this improvement off to dovetail into that, which is that light at what I call Wester, which I think is a different name in Asbury. So that may be a little delayed when they want to actually meet about that. Where is this? Remember okay. we were talking about <clears throat> the traffic coming up Bimler, we wanted them to put a, a traffic light with a left no turn left signal turn. Right. at what I call the extension of Wester, which goes down into Asbury Avenue. It crosses Asbury Avenue with that light. There's like a, um, uh, there's like a chicken pizza. place in yeah, the corner chicken there. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. But that's where the traffic should go. They can take a left there and go down 4th Avenue. Well, since the county's getting, they're going after a several million dollar grant to go f to improve Asbury Avenue from the circle, 35 circle, to Ocean Avenue. So I'm sure they would put this improvement as part of that, that project. Are they so trying to widen it? What are they trying to do there? I think they're trying to do everything. They're trying to enhance it, probably make more pedestrian safe and, and friendly and put bike lanes in. I don't think they can put another lane in, but I think they're just trying to get things off of the, and you know, kind of traffic column, I guess would be the best way to put it. They've okay. been talking about doing some sort of beautification as you enter in Asbury because that's a main yeah, that's how everybody goes to the beach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a nightmare, yeah. is what it is. It is. Like it's, yeah. I'd like to see that some old style traffic lights. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. You just Pedestrians sit who there. Want to be there. there. <laughs> yeah, with the four J's, the sub shop is. It's it's just the worst situation yeah. over there. Yeah. Well, this would probably have been. That, I'm sure they're going to change all the lights down there with, if they get that grant. Yeah. That whole corridor would be improved. Needs a whole. Improvement. Like they did Main Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That which is great in one direction, not so good in the other. With all the lights, yeah. the timing of the lights going north is great. Going southbound, is you, you hit every red light. Really? Maybe you maybe, maybe yeah. like get through two. Yeah. It, it used to be. South, it used to roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It used to be able to go. Well, they do from the south. If you're coming from south, going to north, like oh, it north, does roll now. Yeah, you can make just about every light all the way down. If you're going like 25, 30 miles yeah. an hour, going the other way, you get maybe through two lights and then you get stopped every two. So. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. They had to have one direction. That's work. right. One direction <laughs> had to work. <laughs> uh, and then the other two, I think next month will are probably not even next meeting. Next month we're going to talk about the stormwater stuff. Okay. Possibly next meeting, but yep. most likely at the two meetings from now. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have. Great. Thank you, Greg. Any other questions? Rob, go ahead. I'm sure line you got it. The line striping. <laughs> line, well, that, I talked about budget. that was uh, money's pending, right? Money's I missed pending. that. Okay, I apologize. Yeah. We're going to we're, we're I'm scheduled to do the bike lanes we talked about. It's oh. just I'm waiting okay, for funding it. to yes, see yes. if the police okay. portion's done. Got it. 
JPP did how much you did. You don't do this at the Italian club. I watched you last night. I don't ask I one question. I was asleep. <laughs> <but I'm laughs> well, last night was boring. One other thing I wanted to talk about, too. The last meeting they talked to we, the, the gentleman that comes, um, he brought up the crosswalks on Poplar. That's on my list. And, yeah, you, you, you mentioned the one at Right, I brought it up for the school. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But uh, we would never plan to put a crosswalk at Willow. We're okay. putting one at Kenneth and one up at Cotswold which is the northern and southern connections to the sidewalk. I did have Willow on my list. So that, yeah. so if I, but we've Willow, been saying Willow the yeah. whole time, but if that's not one. Not, not the location. Cool. So we're, both of our locations are a thousand feet away from that. Okay. Um, mo mostly the reason we put them in the north and south was people over there were saying they wanted to walk. So we put a crossing in, because you know, if you cross from one to the other, there's communities on both sides that have sidewalks you can walk through. Right. So that's where we're putting at the north, those two communities across from each other. And the south is there's one community on the east side that can walk up and hit the southern entrance after about a couple hundred feet, the southern entrance on the west side. Yeah. So it kind of ties everybody. But yeah, we didn't want to really pull in the walk in the middle because nobody would really walk to the middle and cut back the other so way. So you said no to Willow, and that's what I think he wanted, no on Willow. Yeah, we never actually intended, but yes, we okay. were not ever going to pull in at Willow. So can wants. you give me again, I got Poplar and Willow, so it's Poplar and? Poplar and Kenneth, and okay. Poplar and Cotswold. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Still going to be dicey. Yeah, the sun, well, what I'm going to do, as I mentioned earlier, I'm, i got to talk to JCP and I want to increase the uh, foot candle intensity. Um, there's lights at both intersections now. I just wanted to put the new LED light in because if it's lit well enough, it's, it's safe enough. Yeah. It's just people have to get used to it and we'll put it in there. If it doesn't work, then in, in the future, maybe we can put one of the raised platforms there. A lot of the speed limits probably can't do that, but yeah. we'll, we can always put to the rapid flashers, which we don't keep in mind because they're like 25, 30,000 feet. Is this a break? No, I got, break. One, I got one, but I don't think it's him. It might be the police. I almost heard, I got nothing. I, <laughs> I got nothing. Um, I, don't th I don't know if it's you or, or the chief. So the, um, on West Park Avenue, the light, the signs for Walgreens not going, no left hand turn into Walgreens, and then the sign going east on West Park to let them know that they can make a right to get on 35 for the BJ Junk Handle. Were you doing that or was the chief? Chief is. Got it. Okay. You're off the hook. Okay. And change, I'm going to change the color on this Good one. Good deal. <laughs> change the color. Change the color. Uh, Thank you. No problem. Okay. Did, did, was there something on Roller and Rose? Thanks. Bids were in. Roller and Rose. I think. The bike path. Oh, that's the bike, the bike path. That's, okay. that's part of the yeah, the bids. Yeah, that's part of the gotcha. bid program. Yeah. That's uh, we just got authorization to bid that. I mean, no. you, tonight you're going to authorize that program with Z Brothers. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll get him going. On that. It's amazing. We're what else you got, Kel? Really take your time. We're good. No, no, no. Uh, you're not watching. I'm like, you're rubbing. I'm rubbing now off. we got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. Give me a break. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> By the way, Steve has a black ball the other okay. night. That was a cop. Really? Oh. Okay. Something about the gates right away was is that complete? There is a bad list. The vacating of the property. We put that. That's all done. Yeah. Yeah. So we kicked them under that list. Interesting. I think. JPP, we did fate flooding. I don't have anything else either. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good meeting. You're off to it. Okay. Have Take care, Greg. You, you don't even get to stay for the closed no, session? No, you can't. Do I have to stay for the closed? <laughs> okay. Nice. Nothing on there for me. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs> All right. Thanks. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks, Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Yeah. So I got two of them for open and one for closed. We, The mayor and I got an email, and uh, Greg and I met with. Uh, Michael Pelotis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? yeah. So we met about the uh, lollipop mm -hmm. trail, and what he's looking for the governing body to consider is uh, drafting an ordinance to make a lollipop trail committee. Okay. Where you could point maybe three to five people or so, and they would be committed to organizing that entire plan that he has laid out for, for the trail. So, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Any reason we wouldn't do it? I'm recommending you do it. Yeah, absolutely. I think the one and they're, thing they're invested in yeah. doing the, you know, exactly. getting it up and going. The one I concern was Greg, Greg wanted somebody on it, right? Because there's an area that he doesn't want over cleaned because it would mess up the flow. Yeah. And part of the yeah. ordinance will have some language in there that they have to come through the township manager and engineer before they do oh, any projects. Good. Okay. So that they get the proper permission before they start. Because we walk the trail Cleaning. for certain <laughs> things that yeah. they're like, oh, we want to take this out. Greg was like, no, you do that, the whole 
thing uh, caves. Sure yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So yeah. the recommendation, so, they can make recommendations, but it needs to all yeah. come through the town. Exactly. That's that. great. I introduced him to um, Laura McBride of the Dill Lake Watershed Alliance. Yeah, so you mentioned that as well. Yeah. And then the other thing, we just got this email, I think it was today, about bluebirds. Yeah, the bluebird uh, houses. Bluebird houses. Yeah. Um, I love my bluebirds in my backyard. Do you get to take on Do you get bluebirds? Yes, but blue jays. Sorry, not bluebirds. Are they bluebirds or blue jays? Blue jays. Blue jays. Yeah, blue jays. Uh, the houses. But they call it bluebird houses. But you see that? Okay, so maybe. Is it? Is, are they for blue jays? Or are they for? I don't think it's that's uh, Mrs. Edson's environmental engineering bluebird houses. Are those so it's a class like at the, uh, the Ocean Township. And uh, oh, she's a teacher. Uh, class of 2027 student at Inter Township of Ocean Intermediate School. Thank you. Yep. And what is what is what about it? They want to build um, yeah, they just bluebird or blue jay houses. I'm not sure which one. They, they want to build them all over town, but particularly on public property. Like they want to do some in Palais Because Park did they just do to them fight in the Park? Because there's in a town. bunch in Palais Park now. Um, they did bat houses in Palais Park. No, these are these are hung on the trees on, on the trees. Yeah. Is that what they've done already? Because they're I've been meaning to ask. They've done them around town, I guess, in permission of private owners. Now they're asking us to get put the them answer. Up on our property. So somebody, they're two completely different species. Well, I know they are two yeah. different species, yeah. but I don't they're know what the on. what yeah, they want. Do they want twenty five thirty? Yeah. So I'm just Dave, looking to see what they had something totally uh, might be the same and might be totally different. So when you go down Joe Pelea and okay. you go from. One of the trails. Let's do it that way because I can't describe which. By I mean, within, I know where it is. By within Centennial Tree, as you make a right. Where the um, what do you call it is the the uh, work. milkweed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So All that trail there, there okay. on either side of the trail, there must be twenty five. Yeah. I'm going to call them bird houses. Yeah. Bird houses that are nailed to the trees. And they're beautiful. They're oh. pink and purple I have to talk and red and blue. Because I know nothing about that. Can you check? I mean, because we just got this email. They're pretty. I just don't know if they're going to ruin the trees. This morning at nine oh four, asking for permission. Yeah. So uh, maybe it's maybe it's unrelated. I'd say it might be because these have been up I was gonna, a month. Yeah. I was going to ask. I about. think the deer. I probably keep pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> the old deer, maybe. That's the old. Too high for the deer. <laughs> and they're not the bat houses. No. And I'm not trying to. It's probably for a good purpose, but probably the same thing. Because to make sure you're not killing the tree. Yeah. I saw one like a deer. This was, was when I was running. Oh. It was so sad. Get the shade tree commission. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Get the so, so you got that? You'll check that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure if, if the majority of the council is okay with the house, the bluebird houses. And I'll what check are, that. What do they look like? Two. Um, like like condos? Or <laughs> the, yeah. the but how many? Yeah. It's like a neo modern. I'm okay, really so, cool, though. so forgive me. It was colonial. So the mayor, it deputy I'll mayor, and myself house. only got the email. So let me buy I'm forward theater. right now. Okay. Because they've got. Um, they got some pictures. They got aerial pictures. They only have pictures of the actual house. All right. It just is getting off the ground. Yeah. So to speak. Yeah. They look and like it is exactly blue, like what's on exactly. the trees. Exactly. Did you know that a blue jay is not actually blue? But the inner wing structure the distorts the way the light reflects it, making like them five look different colors. Right. How's that right. for right. Scott? Right. You, you, useless right. information. Jay. Who is that? Is that a Norm? Blue Jay is not really blue. And he's not really a Jay. Most of their names are Steve. This is just Cliff. You sound like Cliff, right? That's the guy in the movie. Listen, <laughs> <Listen, laughs> <Listen, laughs> Marty's rubbing off on you. I'm telling Get a little vaudeville shtick going. I wonder. And that's all I have, That's it, huh? That's it. Let's go around the horn. Oh, let's start with our guest over here. Julia, Julia you have anything? Cervante, nothing for me. Thank you. <laughs> there, Councilman. Uh, pass on for now, because I'm not okay. ready. Deputy Mayor. Um, we don't usually have this kind of time. Uh, wait, wh when's our next meeting? Is it the 23rd? It's okay. I'll, I don't have anything for it. Okay. Yeah. Councilman Fisher? I have no report, Mayor. Wow. Where Councilwoman Terry? I have three things. Okay, um, good. Can fill in some time. <laughs> <laughs> At last meeting, and I believe the meeting prior, we had a gentleman here, first name Jim. I don't know his Bay. last name. Bay. 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 Okay. Um, I just wanted to circle back on his question. He had. Um, he asked me as a federal employee, because I work for the Department of Defense, um, if the town would consider trying to get the health benefits uh, that the federal government utilizes for Ocean Township, um, and I conferred with Dave, and he gave me some background information. It's, it's not something that we can do without effort, so I guess we are under contract right now 
through, there was a decision in September 22 um, to stay with the state health benefits program because there was no alternatives bid on. If anybody would like to bid on the future contracts for health insurance for this township, they can t contact our township manager, David Brown, who can go over the process with them for submitting bids for consideration. It just would, it's, we just can't affect the cycle that's in place right now. Um, Jim also, the same gentleman, had a, a question about um, the disparity in federal holidays with Ocean Township municipality holidays. So I went to work um, at OPM and I highlighted all of the federal holidays that are observed by the federal government and I compared that to the municipality and I don't see the discrepancy um, in the count. Um, it looks like municipality follows the same count as the federal government. There's just two that are different. For example, the federal government honors Juneteenth as well as Veterans Day where the township does not. We do. Um, yeah, I think we have. I think you do? Well, it was it on the thing because the day it falls, I think that's why. Oh, mm -hmm. so Which holiday was that I'm on? only talking 2023. June, June okay. okay. So the two days that I believe were of concern were Friday, November 24th. Um, why, why is why are we closed? We gave up election day. Uh, right. So I, that's what I just wanted to get back to is there's a trade off on those things. Yeah. If it's a Friday after a holiday, you trade it off. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Monday, July 3rd, preceding right. the July 4th, there was a trade off on holidays. So I just wanted to say why the numbers are different for 2023. So how different are they? Because it Not seemed terribly. like they were terribly skewed in that. Uh, I only came up for the 2023 holiday schedule. And again, it could for be the us, way the days fell right, for in us a year. Here in Ocean. Mm -hmm. Versus the federal holiday that you can get off OPM's website, opm.gov. And how many do we have currently? Well, there's two. Well, let's see. How many the you guys, Ocean Township paid holidays? Kelly. Us guys. Us guys. I love not you guys. What bad you're, grammar. You're still with us. No, I mean, you're with us now. But not on the 20th. Right. Not okay. Well, no, I, I asked the question like that because I'm but we trying to see between it. federal we'll her it would be a trade -off. and us, us versus, no. versus okay. them. Okay. Okay. That She's with both. That was really the. Uh, right. I went on the district calendar. He made it sound like there was 25 vacation I mean, 25 holidays. It's funny when you're self So the holidays in question it's New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Washington's birthday, Memorial Day. Ocean Township as well as federal. Juneteenth is cert, um, honored by the federal government, and I didn't see it on the municipal calendar. But we, we have it. But Jesse's telling us we do. Yeah. Um, Independence Day, Labor Day, and Columbus Day, all the municipality as well as federal does. Veterans Day. We do get off. I didn't see it on the calendar, but yeah. federal government does. And then the 23rd and the 25th. So the only difference that I saw were the Friday, November 24th, and July 3rd, and again they were trade-off days. Yeah. So, cool. at most there's two. Uh, there was also a question as it pertains to our police force and setting pay and setting pay increments. The, this was also raised by Jim. Um, and he had brought up, again, the GS schedule. So that's the general schedule that federal government base all federal employees on. Regardless of their pay system, it all goes back to the general schedule. And he brought up the GS7 pay table. And I just have a follow-on question for the next time we meet. Um, what was the significance of the pay schedule for GS7? Because in the federal government, that's typically in a, um, an unprofessionalized mm -hmm. position. Um, it's a starting, and interns start at the GS7 level, so I didn't know what the comparison was with our police force, so I didn't want to answer that mm -hmm. without understanding where the 7 came up, because mm -hmm. I would have compared it to a higher GS schedule. And then lastly, I believe um, when I first started back in November, December, I received an anonymous letter to my home regarding property management at a specific facility, and they, the citizens' concern felt that what they were conveying had gone on for quite a while and was not being resolved. I believe the particular area in question has since been resolved after speaking to the property managers at that site. However, if there is a still outstanding concern and you're concerned about an anonymity, you can talk to the Department of Community Affairs and convey concerns and it's, it's, you can you know, speak without rep you know, reparations. And that number is 609-633. 6227. And that is, I think, all I was asked to look into. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Um, I did, sorry, we, I, did, I did remember yeah. one thing. Go ahead. Yeah. We had, <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. I'm going first. <laughs> Give me time to think. So um, we, had, we had the presentation on, on updating the tree ordinance. I'm going to have another meeting separate um, with, with Ken and um, Norm. Norm and the new tree guy. I forgot his name. Bill. 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 Yeah. And um, um, I, think, and I think you're going to be there, Dave? I'm not sure. It's on the 22nd, mm -hmm. so it'll be between this meeting and our next yes. meeting. So I'll be able it's to update that. And then also we're going to discuss planting and hopefully get some input from Public Works on just actually getting it done and moving things forward because we'd like to get trees in the ground. So I'll have more to update, but that meeting is in progress. Shovel ready. Go, you go, and then I'll go. Shovel ready. You go, uh, So we were, um, I, and you've been busy, Jesse, so this is not to put you on the spot. Um, I know we were, you were looking at um, towns in the area that were doing virtual meetings. Wait, I have a few answers. Okay, I'll that's fine. It can wait. Okay. I'm just, okay. just checking. Yes, it, I, it's getting done. Yes, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's do, all I have. Do we have an update on where we are with the deer? Are the the um, the application? Have we sent it in to the no, state? We, we still got stuff going on. We end. still are working on yeah. getting that completed. Okay. This I just received an email from a resident. I copied you on my response to her in regard mm -hmm. to her questions about what we're going to do and the rumors that, you know, we were set to kill the deer, which is not correct. You know, I just wanted to send her an email response that we haven't discussed anything at this point. Mm -hmm that there will be input from the residents once we get the report back from the state, which is some time off if we haven't even had the time to submit our stuff mm -hmm. because we're still waiting for information. So I you know, want the residents to know that um, there will be input from the public, just like we had last time, and we will be making a decision as soon as we get the information back from the state. Um, the other issue I want to bring up, um, and it's been a while, and, and I think that we do need to discuss this because we've kind of put this one on the, the side and we keep getting the requests, um, the flags and the, the um, uh, what's recognized and what's not recognized. So today uh, I actually heard a statement and actually made a little bit of sense, and Dave may be... Uh, Dave, you can uh, help us look into this, or Jesse. Um, maybe what we look into, I know this has been a little bit of a bone of contention with people with the flags and raising them and when we do them and when we don't do them, and I'm a proponent of putting up the flags for, you know, certain things, and I get it, we're going to get asked for other things, but there's also a way we can do this where we can do either federally or state recognized versus just a social issue. So we might want to consider that looking into what are the federally recognized holidays or things that would be a reason to raise a flag, federally or state, compared to a social issue. Okay, now I would have to look into that myself to see what's social and what's recognized as, you know, as a flag that would be up. Um, my, my thing, you know, like I said, the, you know, and I get it, there's a lot of different flags out there. There's a lot of things you can fly it for. Um, you know, I know this came up during Gay Pride Month and it's coming up again. And I, you know, I want to bring this to the forefront prior to, because I know we did get some pushback. I don't know if that's a federally recognized month or a, a social, I don't know what that is. So I'd like to see what, what we have in the hopper as federally state, compared to social and maybe we come up with something so that if the request is made at least we have an answer instead of us you know waffling it back and forth or saying no we're not going to do it um thoughts around or legitimate countries because right. you know i mean like i love the flag raising like i mentioned in, in long branch for portuguese day there's a huge portuguese population it's really a great opportunity to bring people together and celebrate you know the diversity that we have so, I, I mean, I think maybe not just federally, but maybe national flags on particular national days for right. groups of people that... Right. Know, so, I mean, we have market. to see where the line is drawn if we're going to go this that. this route. So, what's, let you know, let's get a temperature of the council right now to see, you know, because I'm still getting approached. I don't know if any of you guys are, but I'm still getting approached about, you know, Gay Pride Month. Um, we had, uh, I believe there was um, another holiday 
that we were just approached about. There was a, a, a Greek flag ceremony, um, Indian. There was a there was a couple of different you know requests that I had. So let's go around the. The I'm going to yield to our attorney because the last time we spoke about this, there was some legal reasons or things that we should consider. Okay. You're on. <laughs> You're on. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to defer <laughs> right now. There are mm -hmm. certain, it depends on how it's going to be done in terms of the decisions to be made, who is going to make the decisions. Um, any kind of uh, who you're giving the authority to, who's allowed to. There's a, there's a number of different um, uh, variant variables that is going to depend, it, which is going to affect how <laughs> how much the township can do versus you know the First Amendment kind of thing. Got it. Mm -hmm. So the so are we limited, Matt? Like let's say you have a federally recognized holiday or a federally recognized um, issue or something that's actually recognized compared to something that might be a social issue? It's not so much, I'm not trying to pick my words correctly. Right. It, it's Me not too. so much the federal versus uh, social or something along those lines. It's more of a what the government chooses to speak, right? How the government, this government chooses to speak versus private speech. So, you know, there, as I said, there's a certain amount of leeway that the council is allowed, speaking on behalf of the, you know, uh, of the township, to say that we are supporting this and, and putting a flag up. And again, it doesn't depend upon social versus state versus federal you know, versus the, okay, we have a flagpole and somebody else is coming from the outside and, and wants to fly a flag. So that's kind of, we need to make certain decisions before we can figure out what the parameters are. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that we need to set the parameters up first? Essentially, you're going to determine what, how you want to how you want to do it, what you're really interested in doing, and who's going to be the approval process too. Is it going to be the council? Is it going to be the manager? Correct. Like yeah. If we're coming up with a policy. If you're coming up with a policy. Right. So we would set the policy as to what we think. Are there any towns that you know of right now that have a flag raising policy? There are a number of towns that have a flag raising policy. I don't know whether or not they are used, <laughs> one, and challenged, two. Um, so if I, I think I looked into this. You did. Yes. I'm pulling it up now. Yeah. Okay, that's, I was looking for my memo on it. it. There is a more recent Supreme Court case on it. So oh, since you last. No, that, that's what I'm talking about. The one that you told us. Yeah, about. which I think allows the township a certain extra leeway, but I'm going from memory here, mm -hmm. so let me get back to you. <laughs> so yeah, there's two things. It's like what we want to do and recognize versus maybe somebody coming to us and saying we want to plan an event to honor, yeah, whereas we might, you know, say you, let's do a as opposed to an open Italian form. American community. Or let's do right. That. We chose not, I didn't, you know, because we were in the middle of that. Right. This past Columbus Day, we did the ceremony at the statue instead of raising the flag. It, for it, that exact reason. Because we didn't have a decision. But, Correct. Oh, did you yeah. do flags in the past? No. Oh, we but I didn't want to new. start it either see, at see. that time. So we did a ceremony at the Columbus statue yeah. as opposed to a flag. Not as but I don't see what, you know, look, this is just me, you know, speaking in the work session here amongst us and the public, obviously. I don't see a huge issue with it if it's, if we have the parameters set the right way like you said, and we look into some of these other towns that have a potential policy, and is the policy able to be challenged by the public, you know, or is the policy that you set, that's it, they can't challenge it. The, I know. the lawyer's answer is you can always challenge right, you can always it, challenge. But, but when it, you know, the, right. there's a difference between challenging and winning. So, right. I mean, you can, as I said, it's kind of like uh, you decide what, you know, 
broad strokes. You decide what you want to run up the flagpole as opposed to... <laughs> no, no, literally, legitimately running yeah. a flag oh, up I'm the flagpole okay. <laughs> versus saying, here's a flagpole. Anybody who wants to, you know, utilize it, here you go. Just, mm -hmm. you know, tell us what you're doing and use your flag. Mm -hmm. Those are two different scenarios. So before we even bother going into that point, does everybody... What do you guys think? I mean, I am for raising the pride flag during Pride Month for, you know, for... Uh, to me, that shows inclusivity, and um, a number of other towns do it. Um, I, that was I, like the main one that I had yeah. thought about, where this whole discussion and and issue came up. And that's not somebody coming to us saying to raise it. I think that's something we should do as a government. well. They but have we honestly have, to, oh, have come. Have. Yeah, okay. get back to the parameters because there's yeah. going to be competing interests where there might be another entity that wants to be recognized during that time frame and how do we handle that type of conflict? Right, well, we have two flagpoles, correct? We have one in front. No? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, we have one in front. <laughs> I'm sorry, looking at you. We have one in front of here and then one by the library. Yeah. So we could so we can even designate, set designate our, one. one. We can as designate our flagpole that as our that we say we raise the or we just leave this and then the other one we can have open to ceremonies or whatever, you know, you know, well, application. That, that flagpole like that. is that the one near the the new memorial? Yes. No, there's one by the library. Oh, there's the one, one by the by library. library. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. So I mean, we do so have options true. of where we could potentially do this. Also, um, you could even yeah. yeah. I, 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 thinking back to the last conversation we had on this, so I, I'm not so concerned about where. I'm concerned about what, mm -hmm. and I'll bring up the same issues. Of not so much gay pride or an Italian American or Irish or pick your topic. But again, if we do the Italian flag, do we need to do the Israeli flag? Seems logical, why not? But then if we do the Israeli flag, do we have to fly a Palestinian flag? I, if asked. Okay. If, if asked, asked if if with, asked. within right. the so parameters of what and I'm we not decide. Saying Palestinian's the, bad. I'm just yeah. saying, will the Israelis be mad at that, and will the Pels I mean, you got frac fac factions out there that don't necessarily agree with each other. And you got people that'll be mad that you fly an American flag. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely. A fair I mean, point. They, you're, you're I mean, absolutely right. You got. I mean, and I'm not arguing with no, you. No, I mean, this is right. how people think today. It's right. just so, somebody's going to get aggravated at a, at a flag, yeah. whether you put the pride or the Palestinian or the Israeli or the Italian or the Irish, you know. Whatever the case is, I'd just like to see us come up with some, and it doesn't have to be the whole month. It could be, oh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, days. No. It could yeah. be a week. It could be up a to day. a month. It could be let. You know, it could be whatever, whatever we decide. Yeah. So I just want to know if the council wants to go that route, and then if we do, then we need to work on the parameters. So, so we have the flag pop. We drafted mm -hmm. a flag policy right. on April. The the last version was April twenty first of last year, mm -hmm. and yeah. it let's. Finishing. Yeah. Yeah. Enough, of, I, enough I, of kicking the can. Well, and again, I, I, yeah. I, I don't remember, uh, Matt, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I don't remember his responses, but we tabled it or decided not to pursue it. Let me use it that way. I don't think we tabled it. I think we decided not right. to based on, respectfully, some legal guidance at that time. I think that fair statement? I think so, yeah. So, Matt, what would you suggest we do? Do we do a little research on towns that have a policy and see we, how their policy is? We did, we did that. that. Yeah. We did we so it. it's yeah. all done. The you research didn't, you was Tracy it up. Did you, it, oh, Tracy yeah. did it. Tracy yeah, Tracy did it. did it. And that's how this policy got drafted as a combination. I think we took long branches. Yeah. Long branches? Yeah. But on fairness, I think getting Matt off the hook, we, Marty did most of it. Though. I don't mean to. Okay. So, I shouldn't have pointed to you. Yeah. Legal. <laughs> You're fair enough. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. I mean, it's, you know, you got Matt here now, so. It the, but let, then you need to let him go back to Marty, yeah. uh, confer, and then come back with his thoughts. Yeah, the discussion is here in, in our emails, August 15th, right? I didn't check the email. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I was looking at policies. There's a long discussion, August 15th. Rob, could you re-forward that to us so we can take a look at it again, and then uh, let's, you know, try to come up with with a policy that we can put in, you know, and see if we can tighten this thing up. And Dave, you have any uh, opinion on this? No, no, no. I think... Uh, You're the boss. Me. Yeah, but this is a legal matter, so I want to make sure that we are protected and sure yep. that we don't set ourselves up for failure. So I like 
council that's here to talk to the council. Yep. And his and his firm and we, and, and we and did fly the Ukrainian flag, right? We did, we did have that. the Ukrainian flag up. Yep. I mean, the bo bottom line is that that was a decision that we made without a policy. We just did sure. it. We did that. Yes. Yep. You really want to just decide what you're interested in doing. Mm -hmm. I, I would recommend work backwards. I mean, what do you? What does the council want to do? What is it interested in doing? And again, it's a in a generic sense, and then we could kind of pair it back. I think what we're trying to do is fly the right flags, but you know, and I hope nobody takes this the wrong way, but you know, you don't want to see a pirate flag up there if you get my drift. No, you know, national pirate flag. <laughs> there probably if, is. If there is, then you fly it. But what I'm saying is. I think we come up with parameters that are going to be, you know, that are safe for yeah. for us. Yeah, but to me, that's where like maybe that other flagpole would come in. Like, you know, people can apply for to raise any flag that they want for Pirate a particular flag. time of, a, you know, unless it's really offensive and unless there's a and well, something that, that what defines that's really offensive. That's right. where the that's where you're going to get into it. Sticky yep, Margie, because what you, know, you yeah. don't find offensive, somebody else is. Well, I'm just talking about blatantly, like, with, like, good. you know, yeah. F Trump or something like that, or yeah. F Biden yeah. or, you know, something, right. like, like, I don't know, blatantly offensive things that are offensive. Some that people are, don't find those offensive. That's you know. true, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, it, it, again, it, it really <laughs> is what the council is looking to do versus... Right. It's going to be there's there's two questions of what you what you're looking to do in terms of who allow the public to submit question uh, submit requests versus no public not going to submit requests the council is going to decide. decide what it wants to fly and then kind of move it from there. Well, working completely backwards, are we in agreement that we're going to look into this before? And it seems that Margie and I right now we're on board. I haven't heard. No, I'm on board. Okay, cool. Happy to research. But I think we have to define right. what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're opening yourself up to uh, a lot of scrutiny. You know, what you would determine is uh, something great and wonderful could be How long have you been a councilman? <laughs> Four years. So you get yeah. lots of scrutiny as it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't find it. Uh, I think that I'd rather. Just stick to the American flag. Yeah, I think just stick with what you got. And uh, I don't know, what's the benefit of flying? Something that could be potentially controversy when you could just fly the old. Well, you you know, I think you, you, you use Margie's words, mm -hmm. inclusion. Inclusion. You know, you've you've got people that feel strongly about certain. You know. Mm. Okay, fly to your own house. Like we are <laughs> inclusive of. Yes, own it's pole. also an option. So the township's pull. I I don't have the passion for this. I think it's a little. I'd like to hear. You know, I'd like to have some kind of guidelines. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a little subjective. Like what you like, you know, maybe we just sort of possibly vote on it and say, oh, that's that seems like a good idea for this particular moment. But I don't know I if mean, you. The other backstory is that we have like an Indian group that wants to fly the flag every year, and every year we say we still don't have a policy in place. Yeah, we got to do something because day. we don't sound you know, good by saying we don't have it yet. It's <sighs> just it's a simple request where they want to gather and sell and sing the national anthem, and and we have a large Indian community in Ocean Township. The large Haitian community. I mean, maybe they want to do something like that too. I think everybody's intentions seem very good on this. I just think, unfortunately, there's a, there's a potential for some problems here. So, Rob, send that out to just us. Let's just take just a review, that. and then, uh, more, uh, Matt, you'll touch base with Marty. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we can bring this back up again at the end of the month and see where we stand. We'll do, Sounds do, good. You know, at least we can come to closure on it either yay or nay. Okay. But if we do a nay, we have to tell these people we're not doing it. When we get asked, you know, flat out. I so. don't want to create a lightning rod for controversy either. That's I'd that's like to see concern. how many towns do it. And how many do get the controversy. Yeah. You know? It probably is. Dave, d Long small Branch, issue. do you know anything about issue. whether they, they, fly. What? they fly? No, no. Do they get pushback at all? Or? No, they, they only do surf one. They do what? They, the last time, and I don't want to misspeak here, but the last time I think I talked to Mayor Pallone was... You talked to a Democrat. They don't. <laughs> Belong to two Italian-Americans. <laughs> <laughs> We're Italian, too. <laughs> First. Um, there you go. 
Now I lost my train of thought. There was some reluctance to fly the gay, the um, pri- gay pride. I don't know. Did they, John? But they did. Did they? Did. I don't they know. were reluctant to oh, do. There it? was initial some reluctance, I believe. Yeah, that was. Um, I don't remember. I, again, I don't know the details, but I remember there was some. It was that I went to a Long Branch Dems meeting and it was it was brought up. It was time. reluctant, huh? All right, so. Well, not reluctant, but just it it, it took discussion and then a commitment, but then once they did. You know, I remember actually now they they said that there was um, there was a a, a a Long Branch police officer who was gay and came up was there and said how much how important it was um, that that this was being done and how how much it meant to them. Um, there was tear sheds. I remember the I remember the story. So having done it in retrospect, more, he realized yeah. how important it was. And I think you actually get that more people the, that would support it than not. Or yeah, I mean, an issue. I. It's just you know. It's just my opinion. Um, I really don't think the average person is gonna, you know, push back. On, I. It's just my opinion. I could be wrong, mm-hmm. but um, you know, we're not gonna know unless we give it a shot mm-hmm. and we come up with a policy. And you know, policies can be amended and they can be changed and they can be thrown out. And then you can always, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we're not gonna know unless we give it a shot. So we'll do our research, we'll check it out, see these towns, and go from there. I also forwarded you the email that Margie was referring to from August 25th, 15th. I just, so everybody has it, especially Kelly, Marty commented legally. Okay, thank you. All right. Jess, you got anything for us? Nothing. Just the birdhouses. Just the birdhouses. Bird All right. Um, like birdhouses. They look really pretty. They, they do look nice. Yeah. Give it a little. They're color unique. To yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dave, you think it, those are the birdhouses she was talking about? Uh, yeah. I'm no, no, no. She hasn't. They haven't done simple, them yet. I don't think. Yeah. Not this group. It's not like they want permission to do it. Yeah. 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 But there is some birdhouses up at Playa Park somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Dave, yeah. We think that was just somebody who did it. Workshop, and then we'll start the close at six. Props to them, I guess. Motion to adjourn. Work session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, 10 minute recess. Uh, uh, roll call back into workshop meeting. Somebody will offer to go back into work session. Make a motion to go back into workshop. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Adjourn? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Donald? Yes. Terry? Yes. 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 Okay, back into closed. Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas this body is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, now therefore be it resolved by the Township Council of the Township of Ocean County and Monmouth as follows. The public shall be excluded from discussion of an action upon hearing after specified subject matters. The general nature of the subject matter to be discussed is as follows. Litigation various matters. Litigation various properties and personnel various departments. Um, motion to approve. Yes. Going into closed session. Second. Oh, I'm sorry. Second. Second. I'll second. Roll call. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Okay, all regular Township Council meetings will be audio and videotaped. They will be shown on the Township of Ocean's Community Cable Channel on Channel 22 and Verizon Fios Channel 77 on Cablevision. Uh, roll call. Mayor Napolitani? Here. Deputy Mayor Donlin? Here. Council Member Acero? Here. Fisher? Here. Terry? Here. Okay, please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for a silent prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. The notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act for this meeting have been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press and the coaster, posted in town hall and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 8th, 2022. There are two emergency exits on the wall to my right that'll take you to the front of the building and there's one to my left that will take you to the rear parking lot. Please make sure all your cell phones are turned off and if you need to make a call, kindly make your call outside of the meeting room. Um, We're gonna start off with our council comments. I'll start down at the end with Councilwoman Terry. 
Um, I don't really have anything other than um, the celebration committee. Uh, so what is playing this year? Wednesday, May 24th at the Mike Sternigliaro Fairgrounds at Joe Palaya Park. Awesome. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Donlin? I have nothing to add. Thank you. Councilman Fisher. Yes, thank you, Mayor. So about a week and a half ago, the mayor, myself, and uh, the deputy mayor went to a uh, symposium on hate and anti-Semitism. Uh, and I have to tell you, it was rather interesting. Uh, the county prosecutor, Raymond Santiago, was there, and he uh, was very well-spoken. And he said uh, one of these most interesting things that I found was that the Internet is one of the best things that was ever created and maybe one of the worst things that was ever created. And unfortunately, it's allowed people to say things without really sometimes factual basis, and then people jump on board. And it creates a situation where, unfortunately, you can um, sort of some at times undermines even our, our own democracy. Um, one of the things I also thought that was also important, he said, you know, we live in a, a society where, unfortunately, we have a lot of these unfortunate acts that occur. So if you see something, you have to say something. And that was one of the, uh, the real messages that was driven home on that. But as we turn into election season, I do want to say that information that is incorrect, if you feel it's incorrect, seek the truth. Our township manager is an un unbelievable resource. He will gladly answer all your questions relating to the township of Ocean. And I think that people have to understand that you just can't throw uh, anything out on the internet. Uh, your words do have consequences. So um, if I could just say one thing, Ocean is no place for hate. And uh, thank you, Mayor. Absolutely. Thank you. Councilman the Chair. Well said. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I have uh, one long announcement and one, uh, two short ones. Um, as I have been saying recently, uh, the Greater Ocean Township Chamber of Commerce is having our awards and installation luncheon. It is uh, March the 21st. Uh, it's at the Renaissance from 12 to 2 p.m. Uh, we have a number of community. Uh, we're honoring, we're providing three scholarships and we are honoring a number of community leaders. And if I can take a minute just to refresh everybody's memory, uh, Community Ambassador, former Mayor Chris Cisliano, Longevity Award, Eugene Dente from Fences by Dente, Community Service Award is the Community Hope Fund, Environmental and Sustainability Award is Don Brockel from the Deal Lake Commission, and the Educational Ambassador Award is going to David Stout, who is the president of the community excuse me, Brookdale Community College. And finally, we are awarding uh, two retiring board members uh, the Chamber of Commerce Service Awards, that is uh, Kathy King and uh, Doc Amato. So tickets are available. There's about 20 tickets left, the last I heard from uh, the Chamber, and you can get those at gotcc.org, or you can always call the Chamber at 732-660-1888. And if you will indulge me, Mr. Mayor, I have two other quick ones. Absolutely. Um, these are just announcements. I'm not going to read them that fast since they just came out today. Uh, Green Fest, literally got it while we were here, is April 23rd at Joe Playa Park from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And while we're on the topic of keeping the town green and clean, clean sweep for this year is April 29th and 30th from 10 to 2 p.m. Uh, and that always starts off at uh, Oakhurst meeting room over in Oakhurst. You can sign up there. Uh, always looking for volunteers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. David. Mr. Mayor, no report tonight. Thank you. Right. Matt. Nothing to report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. Uh, I have two announcements to make, and then I have a statement to make. Uh, first of all, we have our annual St. Patrick's Day celebration being held at the Renaissance on Friday evening. I believe we still have tickets. And then our next event, which will be the Mayor's Charity Ball on May 6th at Deal Country Club, that will benefit the Mylan Terry Foundation. I'm really happy with what we've gotten in sponsorships so far. We've got two $10,000 sponsorships and uh, loads of tables sold. So we're selling tickets and doing well. Kelly, anything else to add to that? Uh, no, I just, the one thing that's kind of unique this year, not only is the theme kind of cool, we're doing a derby on the actual day of the Kentucky Derby, which was completely by accident, but we've also offered additional sponsorships this year that start at $20, which has never been done before. You can actually name a horse or sponsor a race and be in the program that will go to all 250 attendees. So Great. that's kind of we, we've gotten some hits in the past that uh, we didn't have sponsorships that were available to individuals, and if they didn't want to attend, how could they support? So this year, we kind of rolled that in. Yeah, it's great because we can add, uh, you know, families can buy an entire race and put all the family members' and, names and on there. And we've done that, and they're holding on to their names because <laughs> they don't want their siblings to see what's coming out. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, 
I won't Could. say anything, Kara. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, Kara. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kel. Uh, so I want to make a statement. Uh, there were some statements made Tuesday evening at the Ocean Township Board meeting that I feel need to be addressed. The Board of Ed has a budget that's created by the business administrator, also known as the BA, discussed with the superintendent and brought to the Board of Education for approval. The council also has a budget that's created by our chief financial officer, our CFO, presented to our manager and then approved by the council. Two different boards, two different budgets, but similar in the execution. The township collects the taxes for the town, the Board of Education, and the fire districts, just to name a few. The assessor decides how the money is spread out based on the assessments. The Board of Education equates to approximately 61% of your tax dollars while the township provides 21 percent of those budget dollars which is a very large contrast since we entered the assessment demonstration program also known as the ADP in 2017 our municipal tax rate here has dropped 17 percent or an average of a little over three percent per year the ADP is a county program that we agreed to enter before any of us up here sat on the dais. The BA is correct that we do set the tax rate and we have been prudent in our spending as the tax rate up here has gone down every year since we've been on council and I'm very proud to say that. But when the BA makes a statement that in quotes the council made deals with developers so they don't pay their fair share of taxes and the council is holding back funding I have to point out that that statement and those statements are completely ludicrous. I find these statements to have created a narrative that paints the council as a group that's holding back funding to the school district, which is, again, 100% false. Those statements must be retracted at the next meeting. Budgets require discussions, agreements between the members on each of these boards. My door is always open to discuss and have meetings with the leadership of the BOE. I will continue to do so for the betterment of the town, but not sit idly by while the BA makes statements that have put this council in a bad light. For the record, this township has not made any deals with developers for projects currently taking place. There are no pilot programs that this current council agree to, which is payment in lieu of taxes. The BA said this in a very roundabout way, by making statements from the dais in public in any forum without the facts, skewing the information does nothing but promote hysteria for people to believe it to be true. This is why I need to set the record straight. The council collects, or actually the township, collects the dollars that are budgeted by each of the boards, including the Board of Education. I give Madam President Gilman kudos for leading a board in a very professional manner. We speak regularly and I want the best and I want the rest of the Board of Education to know that I will always collaborate with you. I'll continue to meet with their leadership so statements like this aren't made in the future because this is not us against them but it's us working together for the betterment of the Township of Ocean. Thank you. So with that being said, we will open it up for public comment. Yeah. The purpose of the purpose of the public portion is to solely ask questions to understand resolutions that appear on the agenda and is not an occasion for a public hearing on an ordinance. All questions not related to an agenda item should be asked during the public comments portion at the conclusion of the meeting. Is there anyone that would like to make a comment in regard to the agenda? Please step up to the microphone, state your name and address. Uh, yes, Kendall Bozer, uh, Cedar Village, 25 Boxwood Drive. Uh, I have a question on what you just said about that statement. Was there a reason why that statement was made? They were working on their budget, right. and the statements came out that the assessment rate went from 6.6 .6 billion up to 7.8 billion dollars 
and roughly 1.2 billion it's increased and there was some statements made that we're withholding all that additional money that's not the case the township collects their money and sends it out so whatever they tell us to bill that's what we bill and we send it out it would be illegal for the township to hold on to the money and i'm sure my attorney will attest to that Yeah. <laughs> uh, question i looking at a resolution on here the one that is uh showing for eight eight million dollars i think it was yeah that's the one we were talking about uh resolution 69 david you want to go over that one if you have the uh the bond ordinance oh yeah this is uh authorizing and providing issuance of sale of 8.255250 bond to station notes township of ocean county of monmouth new jersey uh to the monmouth county improvement authority determining various matters in connection there with and just give me a moment to go there and give you a breakdown here it is oh, thank you so Basically, we're using the Monmouth County Improvement Authority, which has good rates, and these are bands, which are bond anticipation notes. So it looks like we are just refinancing some funds, uh, turning notes into those bands, which will give us a better rate. Are you purchasing anything with those? Or? Looking for that now, because it seems like... No, it's just... Proceeds of sale, the program notes to the MCA may be retained by the same payment the towns of our share. It's, oh, this is that one? Yes. Okay. I should say it in here, though. I know. Okay, the councilman has advised me that this this is related to the two dump trucks, but I... Along with... Other items, too, because it's not going to be $8.2 million. Yeah. So it was the was road program someone? for 2021 and 22. Mm -hmm. It was two garbage trucks... It was the Kepwell purchase and a couple of other small things. Kepwell, I understand. On, you know, garbage trucks, obviously, we need those. Are we are we getting those because we were, uh, what did I say, are we retiring something or are we just going in so that we have more efficiency? In regards to the dump trucks? Yeah, garbage. No, Gar trash garbage trash trucks. trucks. The garbage, we have a very, uh, for lack of any better word, a poor fleet that needs to be improved. So we probably will either be refurbishing those trucks that are being, re or they may be retired because the maintenance expenses on them are, are very costly to the township. Yeah, I know. I've seen them on the road sometimes. Yeah, with the yeah. we've had, um, <laughs> unfortunately, we've had um, the lines break, and then we get the spills over, and that causes problems, too. Okay. And I assume days went out on uh, multiple bids, correct? Yes, yep. As soon as... Um, Everything clears. I think some of these have gone out already. Who but, writes the specs on those? Uh, each different department. Could be the engineer. Could be recreation if it's coming from them. Public works. Um, as the QPA, I check everything in accordance with the legalese of the specs. And then, obviously, the township attorney also takes a look at stuff, too, as well. So no ma no, man no manufacturer is writing the spec for you? Oh, no, by no means, no. I, I'm asking no. that because I know... No, and a lot of the specs we have on file with the municipal clerk already. I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. accusing, I'm just saying I know of a situation. Mm -hmm. I've been on the road for a long time, and I've sold in a lot of different towns, as you know. Oh, and, yeah, no, that's a no-no. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I know at one point in time a supplier sent specs out, which kind of closed everybody else out. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ken. Anyone else? Seeing here none, can I have a motion to accept the consent agenda, resolution 62 through 65? I'll make a motion. Second. Motion, second. second. Sorry, I was Roll call. the manager. Chara? Yes. Sorry. Don, yes. Don Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Vouchers in the amount of one million five hundred ninety nine thousand ninety six dollars and thirty five cents. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Chara? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Napolitani? Yes. Resolution 66 authorize the execution of the rental agreement between the Township of Ocean and the Township of Ocean Board of Education 
for the use of five 54 passenger school buses for the 23 to 2023 summer recreation program at a cost not to exceed 7,500. Uh, offer. How offer? Second. Second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Sapletani? Yes. Resolution 67 authorize the extension of the installment plan for the property owners who have not remitted their installment for the special assessment as confirmed September 22nd, 2022. Someone offer? I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Resolution 68. Authorizing the refund of tax overpayments to the following. Block 33, lot 41 in the amount of $2,432.02. Block 121, lot 5 in the amount of $2,831.62. Someone offer? I'll offer. Second. Second. Roll call. Echera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Resolution 69, authorizing and providing for the issuance and sale of $8,255,250 bond anticipation notes of the Township of Ocean in the County of Monmouth, New Jersey, to the Monmouth County Improvement Authority and determining various matters in connection therewith. Someone offer? I'll offer. Second. Second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Neplitani? Yes. Resolution 70. Appointing Municipal Public Defender and Authorizing Professional Services Agreement for Albert J. Racinio, Esquire. Summon offer. I'll offer. Second. Second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Resolution 71. Appointing Alternate Public Defender and Authorizing Professional Services Agreement with Matthew Sage, Esquire. Summon offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Resolution 72, authorize a contract with Z Brothers Concrete Contractors, Inc. for the 2022 Road Improvement Program at a cost not to exceed $2,275,000. Someone offer? I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Okay, ordinances up for adoption. Ordinance 2414, a Baden ordinance amending in part bond ordinance number 2339 adopted june 25th 2020 providing for the removal reconstruction and installation of curbs sidewalks and driveway aprons and appropriating two hundred six thousand dollars therefore and authorizing the issuance of one hundred ninety five thousand seven hundred dollars in bonds and notes to finance a portion of the cost thereof in order to include additional properties affected by said improvements. Someone please open up public discussion on Ordinance 2414. I'd like to open up public discussion on Ordinance 2414. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Anyone wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2414, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing here none. Motion to close discussion on Ordinance 2414. I'd like to make a motion to close uh, bu public hearing on Ordinance 2414. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? I think I need to abstain on this one. Just to cl We're just closing. Just the closing the discussion? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Napolitani? Yes. <laughs> uh, action on Ordinance 2414. I'd like to move to adopt Ordinance 2414 and publish according to law. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Oh, Donlin? Yes. Wait a Fisher? Yes, you again. Said Terry? <laughs> Abstain. Abstain. Okay. Napolitani? Yes. Ordinance passes. Ordinance 2415, an ordinance amending Ordinance 2360 entitled An Ordinance Fixing Salaries and Compensation of Certain Offices, Positions, and Employees of the Township of Ocean. Someone please open public discussion on Ordinance 24, uh, 2415. I'd like to open public discussion on Ordinance 2415. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Anyone wishing to be heard on Ordinance 2415, please step up to the microphone, state your name and address. Seeing here none, uh, motion to close public discussion on Ordinance 2415. 
I'd like to make a motion to close public discussion on Ordinance 2415. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Echera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napletandy? Yes. Action on Ordinance 2415. I'd like to move to adopt Ordinance 2415 and publish according to law. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Echera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Napletani? Yes. Ordinance 2415 passes. Introduction of Ordinance 2416. It's an ordinance amending Chapter 16 of the Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Ocean, 1965, entitled Parks and Recreation. Someone please introduce Ordinance 2416. I'd like to introduce Ordinance 2416. Second. I'll second. Roll call. Sorry. A chair? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Naplatani? Yes. And that ordinance will have its public hearing at the next meeting on March 23rd, 2023. Uh, we have public comment section. Please remember that uh, all meetings are recorded, taped, video, audio. Uh, you do have a time limit, five minutes. If you come up to the microphone, state your name and address uh, for the record. Anyone wishing to be here, heard, you can come up now. Hi, I'm Patricia Rue. I live at 552 Doe Avenue, and um, the reason I'm coming here is I've expressed a concern. Um, my parents' house backyard is the Palaya Park or Deal Test Site, and there are several trees that are just, you know, have a, um, a lot of lantern flies larvae. I've contacted the town, I've contacted the county, and I've also contacted the state, and I have not heard back from anybody. And I am just trying to get proactive because spring's coming and we're gonna have infestation. And I know behind my parents' house is a small section of the Playa Park, mm -hmm. but I'm just concerned about the increase of them because they were on my deck last year. David, can we uh, re reach out to Public Works and see if they can get over there and check that out? We, he actually, can I comment? Yeah. Just give, so, me, give me a call. Of course so you can. She <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> so Mrs. Ru uh, actually, Miss Ru I apologize. Uh, did contact me facebook i forgot I, how we I, started I put it out there on the facebook so i responded to facebook reached out to um mark de sanctius who reached out to the county and i it, i'm not par i'm paraphrasing because i can't remember the exact words we haven't done anything because the county hasn't provided us with guidance on what to do okay um, the only thing i got from the county was that the only thing that could be done is some kind of pesticide which will affect everything um, Correct. Right. Mark did but say But I was yes. thinking more along the lines of can we not cut them down and shred them up and kill the larvae all at the same time? Because these these trees are basically dying. I mean, they're turning black. I, fair point. I, I, I know Mark was looking for guidance mm -hmm. and okay. didn't get it. So, Dave, can we potentially send Bill out there to check the trees out? Good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have Bill or a tree yeah, expert you, go out. My house is 552, the one, the white one. There's actually one big section, like island of trees, that's like all black. So if I can be of any assistance, we'll, uh, reach out. Five, five, five. Very proactive. We'll take care of it. Appreciate He'll it. Thank let, you very we'll much. Send, for your time. Uh, what was the address again? 552. Five, 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 Down. Thank you. Down. Thank you very much for your time. And you have the manager's number as well. Right there. Good. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jim Bay for David Street. I do the volunteer tax aid in the libraries, and I gave Rob a copy of that. You had posted to the Facebook the tax aid, and this is a detailed one that gives the URLs, it gives the dates, the times, and it also gives who to contact for each library. So if you could post this again, uh, this is just more details than what you did before, and it's very, it'd be courteous to the people to know who they could go to at each individual library to have the taxes done for free. Thank you. Hey Jim, can I ask you a question? Yes. Would this be better if we posted this on the township's website? Never worked yeah. for you. So I think oh. it just seems like something that's a little more. This is a bit a nice service, and I would rather see this on the township's we website. We do fifteen hundred people's taxes yeah. in this area in Monmouth County wide, about ten thousand. So it'd be a courtesy if yeah. in whatever place you think is a good. Okay. Place. Great. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks, Jim. Hold on, Ken. I know this is going to be a long one. Let me get the timer going. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bob. Uh, Glad he said it. <laughs> okay. I wonder who's going to do my house. <laughs> uh, question. Well, Ken LaPosa at Cedar Village, 25 Box Street. Um, 
I know a few meetings ago, there was an uh, organization here talking about the deer. Okay, has there been anything else that has been found out with state, county, or anything else about this deer situation? We're still waiting to get the rest of our information put together so that we can send it off to the state. We just had this discussion in uh, the work session before. We haven't sent it out to the state yet. They're going to have to basically give us guidance on non-lethal versus lethal, and we're looking in every, you so know. So when you say you're putting together your your proposal, whatever. Well, Dave, what do yeah, we so, you guys? So let me just make it real clear. This is a long process yeah. because we're at the point now where we have to hire an expert, uh, and we have to procure that expert the right way. So we have to put out some sort of uh, RFP. Once that expert comes in, they have to tell us on how to, to do a non-lethal way. Once we get that down and it's agreeable by this governing body here, then we're, we have another piece of, it was about 15 items the state wanted us to have. I think we got about 10 done. So that'll be number 11 that we'll have done. And we have a couple of other items that we need to get done as well. But that one's going to take a while because it's, it's, a, it's a study that the expert has to come in and do and it's going to take some time so and then once that study's complete it comes to this body and then we have to decide if, if we're going to move forward to the state and once we send it to the state i'm quite sure then we're going to be waiting for them to do what the state does so in other words what we're saying is four or five years <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't say that long but i'm i'm guaranteeing you that we probably won't have anything into the state closer to the fall you think it'd be that fast? Oh, we're yeah. I, I think that's long, personally, but... We're talking about the state. Yeah. No. Well, no, I say now we'll have we're going to have state. all your portion. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long the state takes to get back to us to tell us yay or nay, I, I can't guarantee you anything there. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Ken. Anyone else? Seeing here none, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Terry? Yes. Apertani? Yes. Thank you. Have a great evening. <laughs>